Hey guys, Olajide Paris here from Private Labs. Here is the uh, long anticipated video, walkthrough video for our debut sample library, Snap. So, uh, just a quick introduction Snap was recorded in the Georgian Film Studio here in Tbilisi, Georgia, which is a very large scoring stage that features these just amazing. 10 meter tall wood panels. It's really beautiful. It's got a, a, a very beautiful natural sound. And um, for this particular library, um, what we decided to do is to take a string quartet and uh, record them playing a range of, of kind of like percussive articulation. So as you'll see, we've got um, pizzicato, bartok, pizzicato, colieno, and uh, and um, a bunch of uh, kind of hybrid and sound design patches. So without further ado, I'll just kind of walk you through the library and the interface a little bit. So first of all, what you have here is um, on, the, on the left, you have the, the mixer with the various mic positions. So uh, the first one is mix between the spot and the deca. If you just want to you know, quickly load up and play, and that sounds like this with the Bartok patch. The next we have our spot mic, which is just bone dry right in front of the instruments. And then we have our deca, so I'll let you hear the deca in isolation. This is for the Bartok pizzicato. As you can hear, a lot more reverb to it, a lot more um, <clears throat> ambient sound. So um, you can either use the mix or you can just kind of dial in your own combination of spot and deca to get, you know, maybe a combination of, of focus and ambience, you know what I mean? So dial in a little more spot and less deca and you'll, you know, pretty much to, to your heart's content, you know, you can dial in the mixer there. So I'll just set that back on mix for a sec. Um, next over here on the right we have our effects. So we have the reverb which is the using the, the built-in uh, contact reverb. Um, we have a delay effect which is actually kind of cool. So it's a little bit subtle there but you know if you dial it in more it's a more pronounced effect that way. And then finally, all the way on the right, we have an air slider. So what air is, is a custom EQ curve that's designed to add more air to the sound. So um, at its default position, it's basically nothing. And as you, as you raise it up, you get more air. Let me turn the delay off for a second. You can kind of hear the effect of that as I is I raise the slider up there, so I'll turn that off. So now um, that you understand the interface, I'll just kind of walk you through the basic patches. So uh, the first one which I'm playing here is the Bartok Pizzicato patch. Um, and again, so this is a string quartet, so um, the way we did this, we didn't do this um, indiv as individual instruments. We have the quartet all seated in the room at the same time. So at the lower end of the range, let me get there for you. The lower end of the range will just have cello, right? So just the cello by, by their lonesome. But then as we start to get towards the middle of the range, we'll have cello and viola. And then later on, we'll get you know, for, for a little bit, we'll have an overlap between cello, viola, and violin. And then as we get into the upper range, you know, just the violins, right? The two violins together. Just play the whole range so you get the idea of what we're talking about. Okay, so that's our... Bartok Pits patch. Next up we have the Pizzicato patch. So this is kind of like the main course of the uh, the library. Just a uh, Pizzicato. And here it is so from the low range. Oh, sorry.
in the upper range. So that's our pizzicato patch. Again, the main course because the idea of this was just to do kind of a, a pizzicato library with um, quartet pizzicato, Bartok pizzicato, and then uh, con leno, which I'll show you now. So here's our con leno patch and go back to the lower range. Whoops, still on pizzicato. Let me load Colenia. There we go. idea. Here's a little higher in the range. So around this area would probably be get a bit of viola there. Upper range or mid upper. And then you know the, the highest range which is just going to be the two violins. So as you can hear, um, it's really a delicate sound. It's something that you could use um, to blend in with your existing libraries, or just if you wanted, uh, you know, basically a different color uh, in terms of um, in terms of uh, these kind of more percussive articulations. So um, those are the three core. Um, articulations as far as acoustic samples. So what we have after that is about 10 different sound design patches, some of which are a combination of uh, the acoustic patches themselves and some synths. Some are just purely sound design. And um, so I'm going to play you through some of those now. Let me just close this out here. So this one here is called a Col Lide. And as you'll see, um, on the hybrid and sound design patches, we don't have the mic position. So in the cases where we're actually combining an acoustic articulation with a synth or sound design element, we're just we're just using a mix of whatever uh, mics we thought sounded best for that. So uh, this is Cole Lide. So this is one that combines elements with sound design. Next up we have Infinite. This is a really cool one. This one's called Out of the Box. Lower range. So another hybrid patch that's going to be a mix of synth and some of the original um, elements which we recorded. Really cool patch that you could use for layering in with something or just to get like a, a different timbre. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce this one. This was really a really wacky one. Uh, Pizzicato. <laughs> so this now we're starting to get into like more synthy type territory with these patches. This one I think would be a real fun one to use. Next we have paints. This one I do remember. This is from a Juno synthesizer. Ah, power. This is one of my favorite ones. So this is a power pizzicato. This is a combination of the original sample content, the um, you know the the pizzicato patch itself, mixed in with some sound design. And 
And so this is kind of like a really exaggerated, over-the-top pizzicato sound that you could use to kind of add some girth to um, some more traditional pizzicato, or even if you wanted to mix this in with the uh, original pizzicato patch that we have in here. That would be a good use of that. Next is another favorite of mine. Called Puppies. Really kind of synth out, synthed out sound. Much, you know, more modern than, you know, the other ones. Kind of like square pusher-ish. Talky talk. This one kind of speaks for itself. Very cool. Next we have turnaround. So as you can he hear, like beyond the acoustic patches themselves, the kind of theme that we had here was to package together a set of articulations that basically were short, tight, and percussive. So that's why we came up with the name Snap. Uh, here's the last one. Vintengo, Vitegno, excuse me. Lovely. And again, with these, you know, with these sound design patches, you might want to uh, experiment with different effects like the air. You can hear how it's much more snappy, and you've you've got more high end content with the air switched all the way up example. Then you could throw some delay in there too. So that is Snap. It is a short and sweet library on sale now for just $20 until um, Christmas basically. So if you haven't picked it up, um, Really great, useful library, perfect for layering in with other sample libraries, and um, really nothing like it, I don't think. It's just it's just a nice tool to have for sweetening your um, kind of percussive sounds and your pizzicato sounds and whatnot. So you can get it at privatelabsaudio.com. Um, Merry Christmas, everybody, and hope you enjoyed the video.